Welcome at Earth Signs. That is my Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns. Welcome to the garden. Um, we're going to be doing a collective reading for you guys. So make sure that you guys just take what resonates with you. And if it's not resonating, maybe check another element where your other signs lie within your birth chart. Um, we're just going to get a glimpse and see what's going on with you guys. I want to say like January and February of 2024, what to expect energy wise when it comes to love, um, finances, uh, car love, career, finances, spiritual journey, any guidance or anything just to see what the messages that the spirits have for you guys here. All right, earth signs. So first we're going to start off with a card from the message tarot to kind of pick up on what the energy is surrounding what energy is going to be surrounding you guys for early 2024 january and february all right spirit all right you have the judgment card here and it says the more precise information the better the universe will present me with what i can focus on Okay, so I really feel like this is all about you guys. It has the Wi-Fi signals. And I really feel like this is the time for you guys to start getting a lot of downloads. For those of you guys who are very connected and aware um, of the voices of spirit and things like that, you're going to be receiving a lot of downloads. You're going to be very um, connected spiritually, okay? Your spidey senses are going to be tingling. I do also feel like the early... The early part of January and February for my earth signs here is giving a lot of information being given to you, um, a lot of connections that are going to allow you to go in different ways. If, like it says information here, you guys are going to be receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of information that's going to put you and plug you into the right places here, okay? So just focus on all the information that you're receiving. This is kind of giving me like a be still energy because, you know, with Wi-Fi, um, you go somewhere and you type, say your phone doesn't have the internet, okay? And you go somewhere, you go to McDonald's and you go inside and you're using the Wi-Fi and then you're like, oh, I need to go to the store real quick or I need to go down the street to go get some change so I can buy something from McDonald's. So you leave and you disconnect, okay? So you're no longer tapped into that information. So it's kind of like a be still energy and get all the information that you can get. This could even be like within a job. You guys might have the urges to kind of just get up and leave a job or go somewhere else. It's just making sure that you have all your information. Make sure you have everything lined up before you just decide to make any um, sudden moves here. So it's just like focus on the information that you're getting, okay? And as you're focusing on the information, I feel the universe is going to kind of guide you and give you the signals that you need in order to know where you need to move or when to move, okay? Just pay attention to those green, red, and yellow lights from the universe. Now, I do want to give you guys some affirmative messages here to carry from January and February. All right, so Spirit says, you are glowing. All eyes on you receive attention and affection. Your energy is magnetic. Okay, I feel a lot of love here. I feel a lot of attention here. Okay, I don't know why, but I feel like somebody's getting like some highlights. Somebody's been thinking about getting some highlights or you just recently got some highlights and they look really good on you. Somebody says they look good with your complexion. Um, you also have celebrate to you. Take yourself out on a date. Treat yourself to a massage. Take time to enjoy your own company. I also feel like somebody just graduated. Somebody just got, somebody graduated. I don't know why I feel a lot of attention on you. Graduation, a birth, somebody giving birth, engagement. I'm really seeing cap and, ground, cap and gown here or somebody getting promoted at work. Okay, congratulations, whoever that may be. Um, also here, not here, but Spirit is also saying, enjoy the process. Celebrate every small step forward. You are doing an amazing job. The journey is the gift. So all of this energy is about you celebrating and being happy and excited. And at the bottom of the deck, you have rest and recharge. So like I said, going into 2024 is more of a enjoying and celebrating your accomplishments and the things that you've done here. So it's just like, don't rush right into trying to make any sudden moves. Bask in the energy 
and kind of just taking this information and you know what just take just take time to bask in the attention that you're receiving you're like in a starlight energy okay a starlight energy here now i'm gonna give you guys some crystals to take with you into the new year so these are crystals that you're going to want to take and carry with you for the month of january and february earth signs Yeah, the Chalcedony, it says, I am calm and collected through anything that comes my way. I am always changing and growing into my best self. You also have the Smoky Quartz. I am grounded and protected. My thoughts guide my actions into a positive direction. Okay, you want to stay grounded so you can hear what Spirit is telling you guys what to do. Okay, and your last stone to keep with you during that time is the Moonstone. I'm connected to the extraordinary feminine energy within me. I value my emotional healing and growth, okay? So those are some crystals that you want to keep with you at the beginning stages of 2024, okay? Now, let's go ahead and try to hop into this reading. I do want to start off with the spiritual part, the spiritual lessons or journeys that you guys are going to touch on for the beginning of January and February of 2024 for my Capricorns, Virgos, and Taurus. Okay. So we have the break free, comfort, pivot, and abundance at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like um, you have a lot of downtime. I see that abundance, and I just really feel like you guys are going to have a lot of downtime here when it comes to this um, this next year. And this downtime is allowing you to rest, recharge. Um, you know, maybe you, you've received a lot of information. Like I said, some of you guys graduated, whatever it may be, or it's downtime um, from your studies or I feel a lot of self-healing as well. So um, with the downloads for some of you guys, this could be you deciding that you're going to make more time for meditation, or you could be going on and exercising and doing things. And this is like allowing yourself to receive information from spirit, spending more time with spirit, spending more time with God, okay? Um, breaking free, okay, um, of your habits of always wanting to work or anything like that. I feel like you're breaking free from bad habits, or I really feel like the need of you guys feeling like you have to have everything in order. I'm getting like a perfectionist type of energy here. Like, I got to have this much money. I got to have things this way. I got to do this. I got to provide this. I got to do that. Da, 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 da. And Spirit is like, you know what? Just chill. So I feel like you guys are breaking away from a lot of bad habits. Somebody here struggles with alcohol. There could be some drugs here, sex as well, um, or just work in general. Somebody has an addiction to going to work to escape reality, okay? Um, with this comfort here, your journey is telling you how to... Um, increase peace into your life so you're falling there's a lot of things that are going to be falling away and a lot of changes that are happening um that are going to put you in the place of finding an abundant amount of peace here um i do feel a lot of you guys probably kind of strayed away from spiritual connections this could be you going to church this could be you praying and i feel like it's just you just getting wrapped up in life in general that you kind of strayed away from that um and honestly, Earth Signs, I just feel the spiritual journey is allowing you to enjoy the comforts of life. You guys have been through so much and you've hoarded so much emotionally and internally. And I do feel like this is the time for you to break free. This is the time for you to release um, things and finally find the healing that you need. Um, this could... <laughs> I keep thinking about this information and it's breaking free. Some of you guys are finally going into therapy. And if you haven't, you could be thinking about going into therapy. And it may seem uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, 
you're going to start finding like th releasing this information is allowing me to sleep at night. Okay. It's, it's creating a lot of great changes here. So I feel like you guys are learning how to not be so uptight <laughs> and not be so perfectionist. Like everything got to be so perfect. Okay. So I do see those changes coming in. I do feel like your spiritual journey is leading you into your peaceful, um, finding peace in, um, you know, I like that for you guys. I'm not going to lie. Your, your spiritual journey is all about you making the necessary changes and shedding things. Um, making life a lot easier here. This is the time where you can relax. Somebody could be retiring here. I feel like retiring. Or somebody is somebody is invested into something that's allowing them to make money while they're sleeping. Okay, or you, you can have people working for you or whatever. It, it just seems like the workload is easing up on you guys so you don't have to work as much. I don't know why I'm getting like this workaholic vibe from you guys, okay? So let me, let me find out about Earth Signs career going into going into uh, 2024. Can I get some information on Earth, Earth Signs finances and career? This is the time for you to, to take care of yourself. This is not the time to be trying to make things happen and grow. So yeah, with your finances, is the Queen of Cups is enjoying, okay? Downtime, like I said once before, um, the Page of Swords in reverse. This is not the time for you to go searching, trying to learn. This is not, this is not the time to be going back to school or doing anything. This is more of a resting energy. Some of you guys could be thinking about taking vacations, taking, somebody's taking PTO early in the year. Okay. Spend time. Yeah. Queen of Cups, Six of Wands. Okay. Somebody's giving the attention that they deserve that I mentioned before. Somebody's been hard at work. Somebody's been working till sundown, trying to make something happen. Okay. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You haven't been at home a lot or spending a lot of time. You could be at home, but even at home, you seem to be working or studying. It's like you're always on go trying to make something happen. And now you're about to, it's like that hard work and discipline is about to pay off with this Queen of Cups. It's a lot of good news that's coming in. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, um, I want to say like free space for you guys to start attending to yourself. Okay. Um, like I said, taking time off and maybe traveling or it's like rewarding yourself. Spirit is saying like to reward yourself. Okay. With the Empress in reverse, I don't feel like this is the time for you to start trying to do anything new, like going after a new position or whatever. It's just like, wait, like I told you earlier, but wait for spirit to give you the red, the green or the yellow light. And it's just like at the beginning with January and February, spirit is giving you the red light, like just stop, rest, recharge and everything. You know, like I said, taking the energy of getting that attention, whether it's at work. Okay. So it's a lot of good vibes here and they want you to kind of enjoy it before just moving into your next goal, your next thing that you want to do. Yeah. With the magician here. Yeah. Somebody's getting praised. Because somebody's been doing a lot. Somebody's been jumping, covering different shifts. Somebody's been studying different things. Somebody got a degree in something different. Yeah. Learning different techniques, working nights. I don't know why, but I feel like pulling doubles with this Knight of Wands. Even when you were tired and exhausted and drained out, you still found a way to go to work when, even when you wanted to stay at home and you didn't even feel like going like you guys were really push you've really been pushing yourself to the limits here so career wise spirit is like <laughs> it's time to pour into yourself it's time to rest and things like that focus on yourself um enjoy things and you know towards the middle of february we're going to start providing you with new ideas and new goals and new things for you to go after here okay so basically, your finances are going to be fine. You're going to be put in the place where you just need to relax, okay? Like I said, I see somebody taking a trip. I see somebody taking PTO early on. Somebody getting recognition, um, a raise. Um, 
it's just like you're getting a lot of attention. Somebody could be getting bonuses even towards the end of Jan, towards the end of December, going into January. Um, somebody, like I said, somebody graduated. So going into January, somebody could be getting more money here, getting more acknowledgement. Um, I do feel like a company party here, career party, the page of cups and the, yeah. Spirit is saying like, just pay attention with this page of cups. It's giving me just pay attention. Don't take any risk yet. Just, just keep focus on what we're telling you, what we're giving you, you know, pay attention to all of that before you take any risk just hold on just enjoy this live in the money live in the money live in the moment and have fun and when when it's time we're going to tell you hey all right it's time to get back to work but right now you just really need to chill out enjoy family friends and the positions that you've gained and the acknowledgement that you've gained at work okay you know how people work so hard to, to be recognized at work. And then once they're recognized, they're like, okay, I got I to make them continue to see me. Spirit is like, uh-uh, chill. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Don't overdo it. All right, so what's going on with the love area for my earth signs? Early 2024. Love area for my earth signs, the moon card. Why do I feel like I'm getting like a shady vibe? <laughs> it's very shady. Mm. There's some difficulties going on in the relationship here. I feel like you guys could be trying to make something work or like you're trying your best to like overcome some kind of hump here. Okay. If it had, if a, if a hump hasn't started, just know that it's going to start at the beginning of January. There's going to be something, something that's going to happen that's going to make things hard here, okay? This could be, you know, relationship, that hump with that three of pentacles. Like I said, you guys were work, probably working at home or spending a lot of time at work. So you guys are trying to recover the relationship here. So I feel like maybe you're just kind of, um, like I said, taking that trip, taking that PTO. It's kind of like getting like the beginning stages again dating your person again wooing them again uh trying to trying to be spontaneous if you haven't thought about being spontaneous this is definitely the time to be spontaneous here with this three of pentacles some of you guys it's just like you don't have the time or you can't find the time to have some alone time because of children here so it's just like hmm I feel like a lot of difficulty, like you guys are being pulled in different directions for you guys who are in relationships here. It's very difficult. The spirit is saying, like I said, if you're in a relationship, it's like time for you guys to be spontaneous. Find somebody to to watch the kids and like just do something different. Don't just go to dinner. Like, I don't know, rent a hotel room, act like you don't know each other or you know, get a room and have it decorated with flowers and rose petals and, you know, have the bathwater rain or, you know what I'm saying? Just do something out the norm. Go to a jazz club or, you know, get some dominatrix or <laughs> it's like whatever it is, go paintballing. It's just like you guys need to spice it up or do something, even going on a trip because I really feel with the Prince of Disc and the King of Cups, it's just like the foundation of the emotional, the love and stuff is not there and it's kind of been falling apart. And I just feel like somebody needs some reassurance. Somebody needs some hugs, some love, some catering to. It's just like they feel ignored. And it's time for you guys to kind of tend to your relationship. Okay? Listen to your person as well. I feel like there's a conversation that needs to be had where somebody's trying to express something here. I, I don't know why I'm feeling like somebody here wants children. Okay? You have the Ace of Swords. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, somebody's just going to get straight to the point here. Straight to the point. Mm -hmm. Because it's just like, look, <laughs> they feel like if you don't make the changes and you just go back to, like, if you don't take this downtime and you keep ignoring this person and go directly back to work or trying to, you know, keep your focus on something else, yeah, it's definitely, this person, is, you're going to be left lonely. This person, yeah, it's like some cheating going on or, you know, they're, they're going to put their eyes somewhere else. And I just feel like it's going to cause an estranged relationship here. So you definitely want to cut off the, 
the overdrive mode and kind of just really settle in and pay attention to the relationship and kind of cater to this relationship right now. Get comfortable, love on each other, have those date nights, you know, cooking classes together, going to a strip club together, doing things together. Even if it's even if you're not going outside and doing things, it's just like making sure y'all spend those 30 minutes together, whether it's cuddling on the couch, rubbing somebody's feet, or just actually talking about things outside of um, work or, you know, just having conversations, you know, like, Maybe y'all need to go ahead and do a vision board thing together and put together y'all's goals and y'all's dreams or what y'all expect to happen between each other as separate people, as a couple, and with the kids, our career, and just different things to make sure that you guys are still on the same track, okay? It, it just feels like you guys are kind of like apart and spirit is like it's time to bring you guys together because you guys are trying to make something work and it just doesn't seem to be working right now because somebody is really focused on stability, work, business related stuff more than they are with their person. And it's starting to make their person feel invisible. All right. So that is what I have for you guys. Uh, what to expect for the beginning of January. So feel free to comment down below if you're ready for this energy or you're going to start preparing for this energy. Until next time, thank you for tuning into the garden.